Honey, bring me that albino pine cone. Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Scout Treasures. In today's video, we're gonna open another Goodwill blue box. Yes, I got a couple, yay. And I just realized, I don't have scissors. Hang on one second. Okay, so welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're gonna be opening this Goodwill blue box and seeing what's inside. All right, so let's open up and take a peek. We like first impressions, see what we see. Uh, also, I, I talk through what I put in, where I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with each of these pieces. Sometimes I put things in lots to be sold as a lot because I have a ton of jewelry. And so sometimes I get comments like, ah, oh, you put such a good stuff in the lots. Uh, but yeah, some, I just have a lot of stuff. So uh, yeah, I mix it up. <laughs> anyway, okay, so, oh, that's cute. Okay, don't peek. Uh, what was I saying? All right, okay, if you see anything that you're interested in as I go along, please send me an email, texasgaltreasures at gmail.com, and we can work out a great price, and you can have it for your very own. All right, darlings, let's do this. I'm looking, I see something, is that looks like yellow amber. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Okay, la, la, amber. This looks like amber right here, like, um... Uh, egg yolk, right? That's always, always foodie, foodie related. I hope your mate's in there, cutie. Cutie foodie. All right, we're gonna rhyme today. So, okay, I see some cool stuff. I see some amethyst. Okay, let's dive in. Let me know. I've been using the blue lately, and I was using the white before. Let me know, uh, you know, which you prefer, because I feel like the colors get washed out on the blue. So first up is this pretty fun bangle. It's got kind of like this paint splotch look to it. It's also kind of faceted. You can see there's little facets in it that catch the light. I'm on the fence about selling this. I think it's fun. I, I'm i gonna think about this one. This one is a maybe to be sold by itself. Oh, you know how I love bangles. This is a really cool bangle. It's got this really nice Kind of, it's probably like a repoussé, which means that it was probably, as you can see, there's like a seam here. It was probably a piece of metal laid out flat and then the design was stamped into it and then they, you know, curled it up with whatever method they use. But it's really nice, probably like a brass, let me see. Got my magnet here, so it's not magnetic. So it's probably like a brass bangle i really really like this one so this is one i will sell bangle heaven bangle heaven they have called you okay that wasn't right you are so like the bangle with the mystic smile okay so here we've got another bangle it's trying to make it work okay trying to make it work so this bangle i like a lot as well again it's this brass probably and then this white enamel under you know that's been painted on and then smoothed off of the raised portion very nice i'm looking to see if that's a bird motif or is it just like a random design it might be a flower it, it, i don't know anyway i really like this and i will definitely sell this one i haven't been saying prices on stuff uh, I have gone back to my right, like higher prices. I've been listing some more lately, thank goodness. <laughs> and I've been trying, you know, going back to hot, listing a bit higher. So if you think my prices are crazy, that's fine. Come on down to Texas Gals Treasures Crazy Jewelry Emporium where you can buy this bracelet for $20. I'll probably put about 20 bucks on this. I really like it. So I thought this was, I thought this was a ginormous tangle, but it's not. It is a huge, look at the bonus here. 
It has a ton, oh my goodness. It's got a ton of bonus hair in it, but just look at it. Hang on, hang on. I'm fixing it for you. I'm fixing it for you. So here we go. It's got this like lattice work, almost like a ladder. And I know there's a name for this. So kind of like this lattice with all of these beads and charms and shell hanging from it. And it's got all of these really rich colors. And then here is the part that you go continues going up. It's almost got, you know, like some Native American like chest plates would have the, that bone. Um, there's a name for that and I can't think of it off the top of my head. This is a Chico's necklace. So this is something that will definitely sell. Ooh, what price? I am guessing here, but I'm probably thinking about 40 bucks on this at least. I'm gonna look it up and see what other comparables are out there, but I could definitely see this selling for 40 bucks. So that's what I'm gonna put on this one. Cool. Uh, let's see, this one is broken, as is this one. I love the green, but the clasp is broken here, so those will go to a lot. Then this one as well, this one has got, it's got these drops, which is cool, but it's just kind of like cheapy, plasticky. So all that will go to a lot. I'm on the fence about this one. This is why I don't like the blue, because it's kind of hard to see. This is like a, a red burgundy garnet color. I like how dainty it is and delicate. So there's these little seed beads along here. And then right at the throat collar part of it, there are these crystals. So this one, ooh, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably try to sell this one. I like it. I should probably have my white one handy just so I can flip them around back and forth. I don't have it handy, of course. These kinds of necklaces are the kinds that I feel like I see all the time, but maybe they're popular, I don't know. This one's missing a stone right there, and so this is going to go to a lot. And I hope we find the, the mate to this earring because I, I like this one. It's got a heart, dream catcher with some feathers. Definitely hope the mate's there. Next, we've got this paracord bracelet. It's, it's been well loved, we'll just say that. It's dirty as all get out. It looks like maybe somebody made it at a camp or something. It's, they drilled a penny. So this is going into a lot. I mean, it could probably be washed, but I'm gonna... Hello, what are you? You have a tangle. I am teasing you ooh, 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 with that tone of voice. Come on, this wasn't supposed to be a detangle segment. There we go, did it. So, this is pretty interesting. This pendant, it's, I mean, it's not finished off really well. It's got some rough edges, that's for sure. But, I think it's really interesting. It has a, it's got a teardrop shape to it, but with these designs along the inside, it also looks kind of like a stylized piece of a peacock feather to me. So I will definitely sell this and I will use that in my title as far as, you know, peacock feather, stylized peacock feather, something like that. Also teardrop and, um, you know, wire work, metal. Anyway, so this one, gosh, I'm thinking probably 20 bucks, if not more, 20, 25, somewhere in that range. Again, maybe crazy, but it's pretty unique. I think somebody would really like this. So we've got a nice paneled bracelet here with this turquoise enamel. The stretch is not good with this one. The stretch is not strong with this one. So as Yoda would say, he's too old. So this one is gonna go into a lot. Somebody could restring it. It doesn't appear to be missing any of the rhinestones, which is good. Uh, so yeah, this could easily be restrung and sold and worn, but I'm not the gal to do it. Oh, here we go. This is a vintage. This is definitely a vintage necklace with, oh, scooch, scooch out so you can see. Hold on, here we go. So we've got these gold colored beads and then this definite vintage clasp. Oh my gosh, this just screams, what, the 60s? 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's got a hidden box clasp in the back of this big, giant, pearly, pearlescent gold. I'm going to try to sell this. I was watching The Help the other day, and I saw a lot of the jewelry that was kind of like this style, you know, <laughs> and some of the, on some of the ladies. Those clip-ons that have all the, like, blingy whatnot. Anyway, it brought me back. So I am going to definitely try to sell this one. I'll have to look at the prices on it. Uh, but I'm guessing maybe about 18 to $20. That may be high because I'm not sure how well this style is selling right now. But I will check. Then there are these little delightful... Look, you can't see that because it's dark. <laughs> you, uh, you, these little amethyst earrings. So here, I was talking the other day in my video about minerals and gemstones and stuff. And so here we've got like, these are amethyst beads. And then this would be like an amethyst, like tumbled pebble you could put. So it has beads and pebbled stones on these earrings. I, I might try to sell these. They might take a while, but somebody might be looking for some nice little amethyst drop earrings. Uh, 15 bucks. Hello, vintage once again. This is exactly what I was talking about <laughs> with the, the movie I was watching the other night. So we've got a double strand of faux pearls. Oh, it's blurry. We've got some bicone beads in here. And then this part, I can't remember what this is called. And then this has got a hook and eye and it's adjustable length because of this little chain where you can adjust how far you want it to be. Now, do I think I will sell it? Look how tiny this neck is, too. <laughs> okay, somebody feed this lady in some Oreos. No, I'm kidding. Um, the, I would have to see if I could clean up this one here. It looks a bit dirty. But uh, this little lady is... I'm going to probably try to sell it. If I can clean that one up, give it a little wipe down. I think this one, again, would sell. Maybe, again, in that 18 dollar range. Well, I'll look for comparables and see what I see. Oh, now look at this. This one's fun. Ooh, oh my gosh. I always get mixed up because these are some, are these this, that kind of shell? Okay, so it's got these teardrop shapes. Is it a seed? It's a kind of seed, isn't it? What is it? Uh oh, don't keep me in suspense. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I might try to sell this one. The stretch is pretty good with this one. And it's a, like you can't see on the blue. It's, this is not my style, but I could see somebody definitely liking this a lot. So I've got to, oh, it's some kind of seed, isn't it? But they're carved into a teardrop shape. No, I don't know, because in the inside, let me zoom in, because you can see they're not that color on the inside, so maybe they're colder to the touch too, so I don't think they're plastic on the inside where it's been drilled. You can see that it's light in color. It's not dark. Are they all that way? Look, yeah. So, mystery. There's something that has been dyed. Something that makes a cool clacky sound. Like castanets. Right, we're going to do a... One of the... Oh, what's it called? The salsa dance where they do this one. And I can't think of what it is. Oh, I'm humiliating myself. Okay, I will find out what these are, and I will find out how much I can sell them for. So here we've got a mixed metal tone, copper, bronze. Is it copper? Yeah, it is. Uh, but I'll probably just put this in a lot. I feel like I see a lot of these. I don't sell a lot of them. I've sold some. Come on now, Margaret. Do you want to sell this? Maybe. I like the colors. I think I've talked to myself. You no. Know, okay, never mind. I talked myself right back out of it. I don't like that there's these frayed bits of fabric along the edges. I don't like that. Okay, so that will go to a lot. These are broken. The little crystal has come off a lot. Oh, aren't you darling? I love little delicate stuff like this. So here we've got a sweet little freshwater pearl and probably garnet bead bracelet. I mean, I definitely see stuff like this a lot, but... It almost looks like a child size, maybe, maybe. Uh, but I will definitely sell this. Again, probably around $18. This is a bracelet. It's got leather or faux leather, one or the other. And it says, be brave on it. It's in fairly good shape. I'll have to look it up. There's a little mark here. Let me see what that is. 
The mark says Bravelets. So I will have to look this up. It doesn't look like it's amazing quality. There's some plastic in there. There we go. That came right out. But I, yeah, I don't know anything about this. So I'll look it up. But just based on the, the stitching around here, it doesn't look like it's super high quality. We've got a little necklace here. It says, I'd pick you. It's got some wear to it, but that's probably just gonna go to a lot. This ring, however, look at it. It's a three dimensional flower ring with all the bling that you could possibly hope for. It doesn't appear to be missing any stones. It is, it's got this kind of sizer on the inside. So that's cool. Cause you can wear it at different sizes on fingers. So I will definitely sell this. I'm gonna have to look at, I feel like I say this for everything. I'm gonna have to look at the prices, uh, but probably around 18 to $20 on this one. Then I've got this really super long one. No, no, it's a double. It's a double strand, even better. Okay, so this is a double strand necklace. There's a little bit of a catch there with these Aurora Borealis style beads and some pearls and then these fun almost like disco-y ball ones that i love it's a double strand yeah it's got a lot going on i will definitely sell this i need to wipe these these down because it looks like there's maybe residue from hairspray or something on them so i just and i get the question like how do i clean it i just use like a damp microfiber cloth very damp and then dry it immediately that's basically it so yeah, I'm probably gonna sell this. I think probably about $21, 22, somewhere in that range. I thought it was a pine cone at first. Honey, bring my yellow pine cone. Oh, bonus hair, lots of bonus hair. Oh no, 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 no. Honey, bring me that albino pine cone. It's over there sitting by the, by the divan, over yonder in the, <laughs> you know. Did your grandmother have a divan? Mine did and we called it a couch, but she called it a divan. Okay, I gotta do a little vocab lesson. All right, so I think this is something that's caught on here. That's just something that's snagged. Let me unsnag it. Get off you, you're not welcome here. Oh, you are refusing to leave. You do not have squatter's rights. Okay, so what we have here is a mystery. These are, these have like a, a sheen to them, kind of like an AB sheen, as you can see. Somebody has created this ball of wonderfulness and uh, accompanied it with this necklace. These beads almost look like they glow in the dark, so I'm gonna look and see. I don't think they glow in the dark anymore, but I will definitely sell this. It's weird. Where were we before my camera so rudely shut off? Yes, this is magnificent. I'm gonna have to figure out what to call this ball of wonderfulness other than a pine cone. It kind of hurts. But they say, you know, beauty is pain. Isn't that what they say? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is something that I will definitely sell. And because it's so strange, I'll probably price it high and, and let it fly. So probably, I feel like my camera's crooked. Hang on. There. Uh, so probably 25 bucks or so. It's so unusual that I think it's, it would sell. I might have to wait for my right buyer and I might have to price it higher but I think it's something that would definitely sell. Shell, you can go to a lot. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200 bonus hair. Ugh. Here we've got a little faux pearl necklace. You can see that the finish is peeling off already on these, so this will go straight to a lot. Another one. These are also just a little faux pearl necklace. And uh, if they were in better shape, if they looked nicer, I'd probably try to sell them. But these I'm gonna go ahead and put in a lot as well. Okay, what have we here? Something promising. It looks like gold. Can it be beauty? Okay, I'll stop singing. <laughs> this is, and when I say I stop, I'll stop singing, I, I mean that only temporarily, just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. So I like that I can see there the post is gold. That is promising. They're really lightweight. I'm gonna take one off so we can look closer at it. I don't have my loop. Here's my magnet. Okay, I'm gonna say this. 
the magnet doesn't tell me for sure that it's gold or silver. The magnet lets me know if it's something I need to investigate further. So if something like this were magnetic, then it would not be gold. Now I know it could possibly have another alloy in it, metal, I know. But for the most part, that's the first step. So now the next thing is I get my loop and I look closer. So I'm looking in and I, I can see from here with my bad eyesight that there's some kind of scratch marks on that. So I'm definitely gonna look in closer to see what the marks are there. Yay! And it says 14K. Let me zoom in so I can get you to see it too. And then use this, can you see that on there? 14K. Okay, so what I do now as far as pricing these, because I get this question, the next step for me is I'll probably go ahead and test it with my gold and silver testing kit because stamps are cheap and if somebody was faking it, they could easily stamp it and fake it. But, so I'll go ahead and test them just to make sure and verify and I'll use a picture of the test in my listing. Then I will weigh them to see how much they weigh and I'll go to the gold scrap calculator online to see what the gold scrap value is. I'm not gonna sell it for that because I'm not scrapping them, but that would be the absolute lowest that I would price them at. I would not price them below the gold scrap value. So then I would price up from there based on desirability of, the, of what they look like. And I think they're pretty nice. They are really pretty gold hoop earrings. Let me put that back on there. And they've got a really nice etched design on them. So I I mean, I'm gonna have to look for sure to see what I'm gonna price these at, but yay, that's pretty exciting. Thank you, gold earrings. I needed some good news today. Okay, not that I had bad news going on, but you know, we could always use good news. The next item we've got is this really awesome wood carved necklace. I think this is amazing. I love these beads. I love the carvings on them. I think they're really amazing. It's not just kind of like a blob wood necklace, but these beads are, are really, spec I think they're spectacular, personally. And then they've got some little stone, maybe like a jasper in between. That's pretty awesome, yeah. I'm trying to see along the edge of these. No, nope, there would. Okay. So yeah, these I will definitely sell. I, I'm going to go and look, but I would probably go as high as 35 bucks on these, uh, depending, just because of the uniqueness of the necklace. I'm looking. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty awesome. Okay. Definitely a winner. Oh, say can you see a rhinestone missing? They are missing right there. At least there's no bonus hair. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. Okay, so poor American flag, you're missing some stones. But you know the red represents the blood, so the less blood, the better in my opinion. So let's not shed any more blood, peoples. Um, <laughs> I don't know I'm going with that. But this is just the train of thought, and we're, you rode this crazy train when you hit play, okay? I'm just, you knew what you were getting yourself into. Okay, so we're gonna put this in a lot. I wish I could find those too, because this is a really, if, if I did, if the stones were there, this is a really nice, tech, uh, not Texas flag, US flag pin. It's a really big size, it's got a really nice bling, and yeah, I, I think this would, I'm gonna look in the bottom and see, cause this is a really nice one. It's big, flashy, beautiful. This necklace that you can't see, hang on, there we go. It doesn't have a clasp, but, oh, I love it. So, it's got multi strands and they're really fluid. I like that a lot. I love the rings, multiple rings. This is kind of like a coppery brass and silver. This is a really nice necklace. What I need to see now is if it's magnetic. It is magnetic, but not, this part is not magnetic. The rings are, but the chain is not. Okay, so uh, 
I am going to sell this. I think this is really a pretty necklace with these multi strands, this real fluid kind of metal between them. I'm thinking probably about $30. I really, really like this. It's really minimalist. I'm confused by this next one. So it's got this piece on it, which almost looks like a bracelet or something maybe you would put over your ears. Like, would this go on here? Cause this was off with the, okay, maybe the bracelet felt, no. So that would be like that. So would this like hang on your ears and this would like dangle f under your chin maybe? That looks like a frown. Turn that frown upside down. Um, so it would hang under your chin as a necklace. I'm gonna have to, is that a thing? I'm gonna have to look that up because I can easily put that back on there. Is there such a thing as an ear hanger necklace where it suspends this part under your chin? I bet there is. And then the, these chains will probably go behind your ears. This is my guess. If y'all are laughing and you know what this really is, tell me. But I'm gonna put it aside because I think that's what that is. And then we've got this necklace with these shells. It's got a barrel clasp on it. It's a nice long one. I might go ahead and sell it. When I first looked at it, it almost had that like fetish, like carved animal style look to it, but it's not. Uh, I don't know, okay. There's some pull and wear to the, the threading underneath it. So this is a maybe. This green bangle, I like a lot. Um, it's got some scuff, so it'll probably just go to a lot. As will this one. Ooh, hello darling, how are you this evening? You're looking mighty fine. Oh, don't mind if I do, coming closer. All right, we've got a really nice paneled bracelet here. Let me try to lighten this up so you can see it better. Nice. Let me open up this fold over clasp here and let's flip it over. So we've got these beautiful gold swirl panels linked together. It's gold tone, not really gold, but I'm looking now on the back for any kind of maker's mark, but I don't see a maker's mark. So I don't see a maker's mark, but it's in very nice condition and I think it's beautiful. So I'm probably gonna put it around the 30, $32 range. I think I can get it. Hello, goodness gracious. We are on a roll today. So here we've got another cuff style bangle bracelet, cuff bracelet, and it's got these metal, as you can maybe see underneath, three metal bands. There we go. It is probably stainless steel. I don't think it's silver. There's no mark, but it's not quite, you know, it doesn't feel like silver. <clears throat> Probably stainless, stainless steel, but it's pretty cool. Again, that sort of minimalist, brutalist style. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on, but you know, like so. Anyway, uh, ooh, price-wise, I'm probably gonna put about $30 on this too. I'm raising my prices, y'all. I've been pricing things too low lately. This one, <laughs> woo, we have got a calico cow somehow and some cabochons and these little things are floating around maybe they're supposed to go under there i don't know this is going to go to a lot <laughs> of this calico cow farm and nobody seeing calico cows this side of this side of anywhere but i tell you what they're the finest calico cows any man I've ever seen the next piece i've got look at this beautiful and like a basket weave big eye and then it's missing some of the dangly bits. So I'm hoping that they're in there because I like this big eye. He's watching you and he is crying all of the tears. Maybe these are the ones that got away. Oh, the ones that got away. Anyway, now I'm thinking about Coraline. But anyway, I hope that the, the bits are still in there because I will fix them and then I will sell it. But if not, I'll just put it in a lot, even though it's amazing. I could see someone doing some fun craft with this. Ooh, this is a nice one too. This is another one that usually I, I would say, oh, I'm gonna put this in a lot. But this one, oh, it's so scratchy on the back though. That would really bother me. Like right there, it just catches, it's horrible. Like on both sides. Is that normal? 
No wonder nobody wanted you. You look nice on the front, my darling, but man, it's like most women. They're beautiful on the front, but they will cut you if you get them on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna probably put that in a lot because I could just see getting a return, somebody getting it, I'm like, ow, this thing stabs me. Yeah, I'm putting a lot. Okay, we've got some bracelets here. This one, the stretch is gone in this one, so that's going to a lot. This one also lotting. Yay, okay, what have we here? So these are actually stones. They're white on the inside, they're painted, they're pretty. We've got a dirty tassel here. Not a sassy tassel, but it needs, it needs love. I bet if this one got loved up, it would look way better and prettier. Maybe I'll practice on it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Then, this bracelet is gorgeous, but it's missing stones. Let me get in closer for you. See, lots of missing stones in there. It's got a clasp, a nice hidden clasp. It's really pretty, which is so unfortunate. But yeah, it's definitely, are they dead stones? Are they missing or are they dead? Let me get in there and look a little closer. And the mark on it says N China. So that's too bad, because it's super duper pretty. Then we've got an accordion bracelet with a, almost like a, it's kind of a watch band style, one that you could have engraved with a name, uh, ID type bracelet. Ooh, what do you think? I guess I could sell it. I like the band. And then this one, it's got a nice little green, it's a plastic capuchon. It's cute though but that'll probably just go to a lot. I had such a good story for my ear necklace and now I have to revise it. I'll bet now that I have more information that this is the back of this necklace and that that is just like part of the, the panache of it and then this connects onto that and then it's an actual necklace. Okay, <sighs> I went there. It was fun while it lasted. Next up, we've got some jet, French jet, I should say, necklace. This is a vintage French jet, and the reason I can tell is that here on this one, where there's a, a chip in it, it's got a conchoidal fracture, like glass would, you know, like a shell shape fracture in it. So that tells me that these are French jet beads. So, I will repair this and sell this. It's an easy fix right there on that. So yeah, these French jet beads, I, I'll have to look and see. It's a double strand. I'll fix it later. It's a really nice one. They're heavy. So probably looking at at least 40 bucks on this, maybe. There's a couple repairs in there, but we'll see. I'm gonna go look up, but yeah, maybe like 40 bucks once I get it fixed up. It's a nice heavy weight to them too. Now, this is cool. So these, we've got this red necklace, red beads, and then this really interesting floral something happening here. But I love it. <laughs> and different. So it's kind of like these marbled beads. I wonder if these are those paper. No, they're not the paper style ones, I don't think. But they're definitely marbled. And then it looks almost like a flower. And there's a few of them. Yeah, I, I think it's a fun necklace. I think somebody made it and it's different and fun and interesting. So I will probably sell this for, I'm gonna probably think about putting 20 bucks on this. I'll look it up and see what else I can find. Wow, it's still blurry. There we go. Um, yeah, maybe like $20. Cute. So here we've got a gold tone chain. This clasp uh, made in Germany. And yeah, I think I will definitely sell this. I'll have to look up what the comparables of like this would be. But yeah, definitely going to sell that one. Next is this stretchy seed bracelet. I like the colors. I'm not sure, let me know, do you sell this kind of thing? Normally this would be something I would put in a lot, but I kind of like those colors. So I'm gonna look it up and see what I find out about, about this.
All right, so I got a lot of stuff here. This is all going to a lot. These two wood earrings. I'm kind of bummed that the mates weren't there. This one is a nice, it's got a nice lacquer on it to really make it shine. But yeah, the mates aren't there. So those will go to a lot. I have started saving things for solo earring lots, but I don't know that these are ones that I will save because they're clip-ons. So yeah, I'm not going to hang on to those, I don't think. And then the rest of this, we've got some little cheer charms, beads, whatnot. This is a ring, like a stretchy ring. And then, yeah, I don't know about saving that for a solo earring lot. Maybe. What I've been doing is taking a drawer and throwing solo earrings in a drawer and then a different drawer for ones that are silver. Yeah. Uh, okay, so all of this going to a lot. Once again, lots of solos here. Some of these are magnificent. Not missing any stones. Super bummed that the mate isn't there. Now, I did order a couple of lots when I ordered this one, so I will hang on and maybe it'll be in the next box. That's fingers crossed over there. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll throw all my solos into a little plastic tub and then wait and see because I've got some really pretty ones here that I would love to see the mates for that are just not that are just not here Once again, more earrings. These are a pair, but I'm probably just gonna put these into a lot. These, I think, are super magnificent. Let me slide this over so we can just focus on these right here. They're squares, but they're also split. And so they've got a little bit of extra something to them. I just really like them. So I have to find some backs to snap on those. I mean, they're not silver or gold or anything, but I think they're really awesome. They're big square shininess. They're awesome. Then, bringing it back over, I sadly did not find the mate to this gorgeous egg yolk amber earring. It is silver. This is one, it's got a mark on it too, so I'll have to look up that. This is one that I may even try to sell by itself because it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so Somebody might want just a solo amber egg yolk, right? That's this kind, right, for the amber, yeah. Okay, so this one is definitely one that I think I'm just gonna sell. I do put like my silver earrings in a lot, my solos, but this one is really, really nice. So I think I might not on that one. Then, a couple other solos that are just gonna go hang out until they find their mates. I have a few here that I wanna double check on as far as seeing if they're silver. But these are all earrings that are just gonna go over and wait and see if a mate shows up for them. Then, I've got some hoops here that I wanna see if they are gold or silver. This one is a maybe, or maybe not. I can kinda see some scuffs on it, but let's take a peek. So. I'm going to get my magnets and we're gonna just check and see if they are magnetic. No, yes, okay. Maybe, slightly, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now we have had lately a, a couple silver earrings that tested silver but still had another metal in them so i'll double check all right so all of those not silver not gold then this little clip clip on earring again i'm going to put it to the side and this could easily be worn as a dress clip if the sh if the mate was it shows up then it could be shoe clips beautiful all right then we've got these little enamel shell clip on earrings this one, oh, it's kind of like a pebbled look to it, but again, the mate's not there, so we'll wait and see. Then, same thing here. 
There was another clip on over here that I had that's pretty awesome, but again, no mate. So crossing fingers that it will show up. All right, let's move on from earrings. Next, we've got this really cool pendant. Look at this. So one side, there's a sassy looking girl. She's saying decorate. And then you flip it. She arranged furniture recklessly. So this is pretty awesome. It's pretty heavily, oh, uh, what do you call that? You know, framed along the side. Oh, there's something on the bottom. This is, what does it say, Sally Jean? I will have to look that up and see. I'll probably have to get a cord for it. Look at my dry cuticles, oh goodness. Uh, but yeah, this is something I could easily, I think, sell. Somebody that's a decorator, somebody that's into interior design, for sure. Look, beautiful. This gorgeous enamel fish, I think will easily sell. I don't see any maker's mark on the inside. But depending on what I see out there, I might actually put this up for about $30, maybe more. Cause look, it's just got all these gorgeous colors. It could be a pride fish too. It is pride month after all. And it does have the rainbow colors. So, hey, why not? Beautiful fishy swimming in the ocean. Ooh, here we go. We've got some bling. So we have got some channel set possibly like baguette style stones. Missing one all the way around and then a little stone in the center that says nine on the inside. I do. Well, thank you, my love. This is so sudden. Why don't you take some of these baguettes from around the side and give me a big old honker in the middle? Um. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is probably going to a lot. The, the finish is peeling off a bit on it. So yeah, here we go. I love Cruz. Now, this could go so many ways. You have a, a significant other named Cruz. Maybe you work for a company named Cruz. Maybe you're just in the Cruz family. You know, it's a Cruz family reunion. And that's that's gonna sell. So I'll have to look up what I might sell this for. But pro I mean, shoot, probably 20 bucks. I bet I could get for it. Somebody loves Cruz, they're gonna want it. Or Cruz is like, I'm gonna give this to my girlfriend, hint, hint, wear it to show you're mine. Then this pin, ooh, would you sell this one? Hang on, you can't see it. It's got a plastic faceted stone in sort of like a ribbon setting, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I guess I could sell it. Maybe 15 bucks or so. <laughs> Back to 15 again. Then we've got this bracelet. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's got kind of these twisted leaf panels that are engraved with little swirls. It's a Brighton bracelet. The wear is really rough. The hook is, there we go, fix the hook. The hook was all messed up. Ooh, I don't know. <clears throat> this is the problem with some of this Brighton stuff. The finish rubs off and then it's like, does somebody buy it when it looks like this, when it's in this shape? I don't know. I'm gonna set it aside and see if there's some way to restore this Brighton bracelet. Oh, another earring. Oh, it's gorgeous, darling. Why? <laughs> it's a beautiful shell with this gold design and it framed. I'm, I'm hoping the mate shows up because I think this is beautiful. Let's take a peek at what we've got here. So I've got some more solo earrings that, oh, it's kind of a mess, that I'm gonna put off to the side that maybe the mates will show up for. And then there's one here I wanna take a closer look at. Then some more just, oh, look at this one. It's got a little crab. Isn't that cute? It's a little blue and green crab. You can see it. Isn't it adorable? But again, there's only one of them. So, I have a few things going to a lot here. Clearly, just solo this, solo that, but there's a couple bits. That looks like it might be silver on that earring. Couple things here I wanted to look a little closer at. Sometimes down in the bottom, and I still have a few more things to show you, so I don't think this is the bottom of the barrel, and that's it. Got a couple more things. But there's a couple little, like that charm, that charm, this one. That's a cool piece right there. 
Um, that's sweet. Let's see, all y'all out of here. There's a few things I wanted to look at out of this bunch. So we've got a few things here. So this one looks like it might be a little Brighton Charm. Again, the wear is kind of iffy on it, but I might still try to sell that. It's not terrible, but the wear on the back is a bit like, eh. But I still might be able to get some money out of that. This one, so this one I think used to be a key. Something has broken off down, down there, so that's out. Okay, but this little charm, it looks like, let me zoom it in. This little charm looks like a little flower or a seed pod or something that's kind of popped open. I think it's, I think it's adorable. I want to look closer to see if I see any marks on it. Now, I don't see any marks on this, but it, even though it's tiny, 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 I still think I'm going to sell this little charm. And, and I think it's a seed pod. What do you think? Somebody that's a master gardener or a gardener of some sort might really like that. So I'm definitely going to sell that. Uh, that's just a little, I thought maybe it was something else. Then, okay, that was hooked on there, but it's not. So let's take a peek at this little one. It's probably, now that I'm handling it, it doesn't feel like it might be anything after all. Take the back off. Okay, the back is magnetic. Oops. But, so that one does say 14K on it. All right, I'm gonna have to look at this closer. It's got a little pink stone in it. I'm gonna put it with my testing stuff. Again, stamps are cheap. 14K on that. The back clearly maybe doesn't go with it, but yep, I'm gonna go put this with my my things to test. Next up is this X ring. It's got a bit of a bling to it. Let me zoom it out a teens for you. Now there is, the finish is gone on the back, but the front still looks pretty good. So I will probably still try to sell this. It's not missing any stones. So this one I'll probably still try to sell for, oh, I don't know, maybe $15, $12, $15 in that range. Maybe more, I'll see what I see. This is breaking my heart. This is breaking my heart right now, you guys. I am so sad that the mate is not there, but look, it's a clip on. Look at those leaves. Just look at them. Look at the way they, what is this called? I've, I have had stuff with this before. It's like frosted, but then it's like reflecting the light. Oh my gosh. So this is probably, it's gonna probably go into one of my shadow boxes or I'll make it into a pendant. One or the other, cause it is so beautiful. Look at this. Oh, look how pretty. And it's green, even better. So yeah, I have a shadow box, like one of those printer trays I hang on the wall and I put trinkets and fun little things in. I think this would make a nice addition to that. So that's where that's gonna go. We have got a pin. I'm going to zoom in for you. It's pretty zoomed in already, but let's let's get a little closer here. We've got a fella. It says, it's better to give than receive a fat lip. So there's a guy's head, I'm guessing is what that is. And then there's a figure. Is that what's going on here? Or, no, no, no. That's his collar. And that's his ear. Is he wearing a mask? This is really strange. I, f I feel like there's something sinister about this. Um, I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to look this one up, but I thought, well, you know what? We're gonna f follow this one by a dove, you know, for peace. And mom, you know, it's a little heart mom and a little dove. So I'll, I'll see about selling this little mom pin. The wooden dove looks like it's missing an eye. Unless it's just supposed to be that way. But I might try to sell that one as well. And then we've got a seagull. All right, well, <laughs> we've got this nice little, maybe pewter, possibly, seagull pin brooch that I will also sell because you know that there's somebody that loves every animal out there, including seagull, if you can believe it. <laughs> but yeah, so I've definitely got some winners here.
thanks so much for watching this Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely got some amazing goodies here. Love the gold hoop earrings. This darling, I can't wait to put in my in my box of treasures and oh, just beautiful. I wish that one was the mate was here, but I got plenty to make my money back on this box. So go down there, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.